Hi kids, here I'm going to show you all how to open Scratch online and how to do a small project in that. First of all, let me show you all how to open Scratch online. To do that, I want to go to my Google. So let's click on the web browser. Here I have Google Chrome in my taskbar. Let's click on it after that you can click on your login I have my login here okay once you click on that you will come to a page like this this is Google search engine in the Google search engine let's type scratch online okay S C R A T C H space on line O N L I N E then after press the enter key okay then you will come to a page like this here you have to click on scratch.mit.edu then click on start creating okay this is the scratch where we are going to learn how to do codings okay here we have a small introductory tutorial if you want you can play with then scratch what? you can make your own stories games, and animations. Let's start by grabbing a move block. We can click the block to... Okay, so when you're uh, doing your practicals at home, you can watch these tutorials here, and you will have, uh, you can find more tutorials under tutorial topic. Okay, now this is our sprite okay and the white color background we call as the stage you can change the stage via with the different backdrop by clicking on this okay so today let's create a jungle okay let me take this savanna once you click on any backdrop it will come to your stage okay now I have a cat here that is the default sprite in scratch okay now I want to move my sprite I want to move my cat how to do that you all can find here is moving cord okay so you can grab it by clicking and drag it and drop here okay now let's click it and see look okay when you click on it it's moving okay I want to do something more let's make a sound when it's moving when it's walking it will say meow let's see how to do that now the first one is motion then next is looks and the third one is sound the purple color let's click on that and here is the play sound let's click it and bring it here you can't drop wherever you want okay here see now when you click it will make the sound okay no I want to move and make the sound both together for that you have to place this sound code with the moving code when you take near to that now you all can see a shadow there okay when the shadow appears release your mouse like this now let's click it and see okay now we don't want to click on the codings and move our sprite okay we have a flag button at the top here and this is the stop button okay so let's take the flag coding let's go to events now here you can find when flag click this should come at the top okay now let's click on the flag and see okay now I want some more sprites in my stage okay I want this is a savanna so I want lion let's go back to choose a sprite button okay and let's go to animals if you want you can easily type and search lion here okay here see once you click on it it will add it to your stage like this okay now let's give the same coding for the lion as well when flag clicked and let's go to motion and move 10 steps now I don't want to make it move 10 steps let's change it to 25 by clicking and typing like this okay now let's uh, click on the flag and see 
okay now I want to make the lion also to make the sound let's go to sound okay and let's click it and drag it and drop it here now let's click on it and see okay shall we add one more sprite okay let's go to choose a sprite and let's go to animals then okay let's add this parrot then let's click on it okay now shall we make it little bit smaller it looks little bigger now the default size of this parrot you all can see here 100 let's make it to 50 a small will give a smaller number okay that's great there okay let's click it here now again let's go to events when flag clicked let's go to motion moving step and the sound the bird okay now let's click on the flag and see okay now children if you want to delete any sprite here now I don't want this cat anymore okay so I want to I feel uh, that it makes too much noise here okay so I want to delete it to delete any sprite from your project click on the sprite from here at the bottom and you all can find this bin mark just click on it it will remove from your stage like this now let's click here and click it and see <coughs> okay now I want to do something more that is this flag should this uh, not the flag this bird should turn by moving it should turn so now here I'm in the lion now you all can see it has selected here let's click on the parrot and now under this motion you can see the second coding turn 15 degrees let's click it and drag it and drop it here now let's click it and see okay so this is how we can give codings to our sprites okay so please do practice thank you